STDs are one of the most common public health problems in the United States. We actually estimate that there are over 19 million new sexually transmitted infections in the United States each year. We believe that it's necessary to inform industry what clinicians want in a point of care test. Point of care testing is critical to industry because the market is so massive. This is a major international health problem whose scope is greater than uh, has ever been uh, realized in the past. You have to really expand your definition of the STD market. People typically think in the chlamydia gonorrhea realm and sometimes add in HPV. But if you really open that up and you think of uh, all the hepatitis tests, particularly HCV, include HIV, all sexually transmitted diseases, this is a massive, massive worldwide problem. Point of care tests represent a great potential improvement over current laboratory-based testing for sexually transmitted diseases and HIV. The very nature of sexually transmitted diseases and HIV is that the longer it takes to diagnose and treat them, the greater the risk of transmission and the more likely it is that people have complications of their infection. Development of new point of care tests really enlarges the spectrum of people who can test for sexually transmitted diseases. Suddenly, primary care providers, emergency room doctors, people who work in settings where they don't normally and regularly test for sexually transmitted diseases will have new opportunities, new tools, and therefore will be testing more than they do at the present time. I would love to have a point of care test because if I diagnose that STI immediately, treat immediately, and able to counsel immediately, well then the sequela, such as infertility, chronic pelvic pain, pelvic inflammatory disease, would be averted. Of the 100 girls that get diagnosed in our institution every year, um, maybe 20 of those will come back for the CDC recommended follow-up care. Half of them have already had an STD before. We know chlamydia is very common in young women. Um, so it's recommended that all sexually active females uh, less than the age of 26 be screened on an annual basis. I think if the tests were easy to administer and use in a clinical practice, um, we could also have other people trained how to use them. The perfect point of care test would be something that's easy to obtain, a simple swab or a finger stick, um, something that's very accurate compared to the good tests that we have already, something that's fast, under five minutes if possible, um, and something that's easy to read with just a few steps. Point of care tests are very helpful in a busy clinic. In our clinic, we ask the nurses to collect a urine sample on every girl as soon as she comes through the door. And so just with a little pre-planning, you can get that through your, uh, through your visit and make things really work and, and have those results for the patient right there before you lose them. In Northern California, Kaiser Permanente, we have 450,000 adolescents out of a total health plan membership of 3.2 million. And when you look at some of the research that we've done as far as chlamydia screening and the percent of our adolescents who are sexually active, probably about 50% of adolescents age 16 are sexually active. At Kaiser Permanente, we have taken that a step beyond and we are screening both males and females for chlamydia. We have done some focus groups and uh, also some surveys among clinicians and representatives from industry who develop point of care tests. Clinicians wanted a test that takes 20 minutes, whereas industry said, oh, 35 minutes is okay. We've done some surveys with patients. Most of them say 20 minutes. Clinicians want a test that cost uh, 15, no more than $20, whereas industry said $35 is fine. For private labs, the point of care test would be a real development and advantage because if patients are referred then and you make the test and you have more or less immediately a diagnosis, then you can start treatment. The populations in the most need typically are remote, hard to get to, whether that be rural Africa or an inner city population. They're hard to get to and they have the most need for that immediate result from a physician.
the, um, the NIBIB has a strong interest in uh, supporting the development of point of care technologies and we view industry as being as playing a major role in, um, in um, furthering the development and commercialization of, of these uh, devices. Any test um, that's going to make it um, more clinically relevant to our population, um, allow them to better understand their diagnosis is going to help us, I think, in the long run. If we want to predict future, we should create future. If you can make a difference for one person uh, and multiply that times the millions of people infected, um, you can make a huge difference in global health today.